B. Hope this one should be. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And it's Miller Timmy Crazy Raw Radio. Drink chaps, yappy hour. <laughs> Motherfucker, we do how we gotta do. Make some noise. <laughs> right now, when you talk about one of the originators. One of the people that has been there, still stood this test of time, still out here, monkey foot in the game. Got an ill distribution deal right now, and we're gonna get into all of that. We're gonna get into how they got there. But the man has been doing it, he's brung, you've seen him, the first time I seen New York niggas in London is with him. Mm. First time I see New York City niggas go somewhere other than, even from, shit, even I see them in Virginia, that was like, Jesus. That was like, you know, that was, you know, Virginia was like fucking Jamaica. <laughs> like, I thought you needed a passport to go to Virginia at that time. Like, the man has been true to hip-hop, has been one of the most lyrical guys here. I seen him on uh, 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 Kick a Rhyme the other day, and he still got it. But the beautiful thing about it is the relationship that, you know, you know, from, from the beginning and, the, and, you know, even the turmoil to now where they at. I, 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 I um... I, 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 what is that? I applaud that. I commend that. I salute that. You know what I'm saying? To see where they at. And the fact that people from Title were going hard for this, I was mm. really, I really think that's commendable, man. You know what I'm saying? After all these years. But in case you don't know what we're talking about, motherfucking Jazz O makes up, man! So, one thing that I Googled you, right? You had a, you had a, you got a, uh, um, a neighbor, um, Eric Oliver? Yeah, Ella, uh, Eric, Eric Oliver. Eric, Eric Oliver. That was the first person to tell you you should write a rhyme. Did your research, my nigga? Yeah, no, 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 because you know why that name just you fucked me up. Right? <laughs> Listen, no, when I said, I said that's a director's name in my mind. Yeah, like, it does. like that's it. Sound like somebody who's gonna direct Bad Boys <laughs> Five and shit. But go ahead. So, that, yeah. so how does a person come up to you and says, "Yo, I think you should write a rhyme"? Well, you know, mm -hmm. basically. Um, and how old were you when when he said this? Oh thing? shit! Well, he was about he was about nine. Wow. I, so oh, I was shit, so kids. I was like thirteen. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and um, it was around the time where you know they was um, you know taking the electricity from the light pole, having right. a, oh shit, you know, right. so the, you know he got the music out. Right. Uh, this cat Lenny Morgan from the building. Mm -hmm. Every time they had the music out, like I think it was just crazy. He just right. he was good, the good crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he right. he just run through the lane. So I'm like, yo, they got the music out. Right. They got the music out. So <laughs> I'm telling like you, like the so, park jam days, right. that yeah. type of vibe. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly yeah. what he yeah. got to be talking yeah. about. Yeah. So um, so Eric Oliver actually lived on the fifth floor. <laughs> I lived on the sixth floor in 644 Park Ave. Mm. And um, his mother and my mother were very very good friends. Mm. So one day he was like. Man, yo, you see how they be rhyming on the mic? Yo, you should rhyme on the mic just like that. I was like, man, get out of my face. Man. Right, right, right. You know, he's like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you should rhyme on the mic. He's like, I bet you can't. So he did the reverse psychology shit on me. Okay. Said, I bet you can't you write can't. rhyme. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Can you remember I, the guys that were rhyming on, on the mic that he was telling you should be like them? Uh, or you could do better back, than them? Way, way back then, yeah. if you were a DJ, you more than likely you were an MC too, as well, or you right. got somebody. To you might MC have been cooler and, than the and, rapper back then. Back then the, the DJs, DJs back the then original, were man. cooler yeah. than. All right, relax. But for real, y'all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the DJs. No, I, I remember. I remember <laughs> the MC like actually, actually being like the second. Like that's why Eric B and Rock Kim. Yeah. Right. Right. But, but continue. Continue. Yeah. So. He, you know, so he did the reverse psychology shit on me. So, you know, my uh -huh. ego uh -huh. got the best of me. And right. So I wrote an eight bar run. Right, right, right. And right. he was like, yo, you should say that. You should right. do this, this, that, and the other. Right. So, you know, I kept it quiet, you know, uh -huh. but secret, you know, secretly, I was writing more. I started scribing more shit. Right. So um, then it happened that um, we went Red Hook Projects. Uh -huh. And uh, one of my boys, uh, Ronald Henley, we used to call him Ron Du. Mm. Um, we used to always go, and because his uncle Mango. Every, everybody got to have a nigga named Ron Du. Like, if you from the Facts. projects and you don't have a nigga named Ron, Ron Du, I'm you questioning you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You like the nigga, you you like nigga that don't fold your pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got to fold your pieces. Like, yeah, 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 Ron Du, I like, so, this, I like this. Where we going? Let's yeah. go there. So, uh -huh. so, uncle, so Uncle Mango, you know, he used to do house parties, everything mm. else. So one night we went out to Red Hook mm. and... um. He was doing a house party. Mm -hmm. So my man Ron put me on the spot. He was like, yo, don't you be rhyming and shit? I was like, nah, I don't really be rhyming and shit. Right. But right. I was, he was like, go ahead, man. Because you know how the house party was set up. Mm -hmm. the, the DJ set up was in the bedroom mm -hmm. and everybody was in the living room. Mm -hmm. You know, and they had the extension cord, all that mm -hmm. shit. So yep. anyway, mm -hmm. 
So I start, I start rhyming. Mm. Then we start hearing the reaction. They're like, woo! Uh, so my head said, woo! Like, you know what I mean? So I was like, shit, I got two on, you got two, three more to stack. So, so right. I just went at it, right. and, and that's what really started it. So what? What you um, was that prior to you going to Virginia, going to college, or that was after? That was um, that was before. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you was in college already, and you was must have been like, man, ah, ah, ah. Because but at that time, I'm gonna be honest, and I'm sorry for Virginia people, but at that time, if you was from New York, you was like from Brazil. Like we was exotic to niggas exactly. in Virginia and Baltimore because like we had the slang. So it, it must have been like good for you out there in Virginia. Or oh, no? Most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. Mm. Um, I went to um, Old Dominion University for two mm. years, mm. and um, I really. I really went to college for my mom and for my grandmother mm. because I damn sure wasn't going for myself. I didn't right. want to go. You right. know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was in the street. Right. You know, I wanted to rhyme. I wanted to do everything except you know what they said was is the right thing you, to like, do. Somewhat because like I went through your. The good thing is I was sick yesterday, so I had a great long time to just stay in the bed and just go through your shit. Is mm -hmm. that where you get your vocal or vocabulary from? Is, is that something that helped it was going to college, college or, something or something like that? Or um, I think or you had that prior. prior. It, yeah, it was my mom. Oh, okay. Wow. To be honest, yeah, wow. it was my mother because wow. like um, I told this story before, but like. Mm -hmm. She used to always um, just introduce new words to me. Wow. Like, um, like one day I, I was either five or six and I was being silly. And she was like, oh, Johnny, you being so facetious. I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you know, and, I, and she already knew I was very inquisitive. So I always uh -huh. asked her, like, what does that mean? Uh -huh. How do you use, what, you know, everything. So uh -huh. it just went on like uh -huh. that. So I uh -huh. always, and she knew I was going to, I was going to dive in because I was always asking her questions, anything. Like, I, I used to ask her shit like, what does nothing look like? Right. You mm. know what I'm saying? And she said, wow. and she wow. be like, and I, and I was five. Uh, I, I, I was, yeah, out there. Yeah, that shit blowing yeah. me away right now. Yeah. <laughs> what does nothing look like? Yeah. Wow, that's it. Yeah. That's, that, so, do you think that's what makes uh, artists? Because so many people, right, right. Um, I, I don't remember who exactly it was, but it was like high school dropout, right? Mm -hmm. And then everyone kind of like at that moment, like especially in the eighties, nineties, early nineties, everyone was claiming that there was high school dropouts. Right. But now, now if you pay attention to that, this generation, those high school dropouts of our generation, that generation, has made the dumbest children ever for this generation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. What the fuck? These drink yeah. champs, I'm sorry. Yeah. But you understand, do you, yeah. do you feel like we failed them? Like, are we a direct descendant? Because when you hear these niggas right nowadays, you're like, damn, they definitely didn't go to Miss Ebanks' class. <laughs> yeah. skip they tomorrow. definitely skipped social I, studies. I think, yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, mm. I think that, um, mm. I think that we, we, we are definitely a part of the failure, mm. but we were sort of like an unknowing part of the failure. I mm. think that the failure, or if you want to call it that, sure. it... It was a gradual thing over at, over really like uh, decades, mm. you know, decades of us, um, you know, becoming, um, you know, coming to the the cities, you know, coming from self destruction to let's, let's drink some Reaganomics and, and everything right. that came let's around. Let's drink that. some lean, cut right. the shovel bean, you know, some pain, like I'm saying, like from self destruction yeah. to you ever thought that? that? Yeah, because like, I mean, we, you know, when I came out, you know, mm. I was. I was talking about Islam and, yes, yes, you know what I'm saying, yes. black unity mm -hmm. and all that. And opposite nation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's just crazy. Like, somebody said it. Like, um, I saw it on Facebook, actually, mm -hmm. where they said, um, you know, in the, in the late 80s and 90s, mm -hmm. you know, you had the, um, you had the, the, the rappers who really talked about being drug dealers. Right. Now, now you got rappers and drug, drug users. users. And proud crazy. of it, though. What a yeah. flip. Like, like, all right, cool. Not to compare them to crackheads, but in our day, you're not to compare them. So sorry. And neither you know, is good. You, if you just compare them to neither crackheads. Is good. You know, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have nothing else to compare them to, right? right so right, what right. I'm saying, in our day, crack was the shit. Hold on, let me finish it out. Let me finish no, right, it out. Right. What I mean is it was the shit. And only assholes was actually 
smoking the, smoking it. Like at first when it first came out, and motherfuckers smoked it, motherfuckers. It wasn't cool to be a user, and because right. you know it was cocaine was cool at first, right. and then motherfuckers smoked crack. Then when people feel like you're a victim, you're a fucking, you're an addict, right? Then they had songs. We had murals in the hood, crack kills, mm-hmm. all this. Yeah. That is the exact opposite. They have murals in the hood with people with double cups, and they have wow. murals in the hood with people with with, with, with Percocet, and like they, it, it's it's perpetuating it. I never, I listen. And I have a lot of nerve because I'm sitting here with all this alcohol, with blood in my hand, and I'm about to open some um, Ace of Spades. And it's organic. But, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying, I had, I never think hip hop will dumb would be this dumb. Like, and I don't, I don't want to say they're dumb because these, these and not kids, everybody. No, these kids a lot are, of dope artists. There's too. a lot of dope artists, but these kids, these kids um, are making great money, and I gotta salute that. But I'm saying when I say dumb, dumb, the content being so dumbed down that you know what I mean. Like, um, do you think that that, that we would be at this level of hip hop? Nah, nah. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's one eighty, what it was. Yeah. yeah, and and I gotta say this, and and I say it often, like mm. you know, um, as far as the 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 skill set and the you know the basic like the level as far as setting the bar right. as far as like songs and stuff like. Right. I mean, we had niggas that was trash back right. when. Of course. You know right. what I'm saying? Of course. So a lot of people, you know, they they want to rally the troops and say like you know. This was the golden age, right. and everything that came out was crazy hot, right. and now everything is everything is trash. Right. And that's not the case. I mean, yeah. it's you got that shit regardless, right. yeah, you know. Right. But there's a difference, like the, the right. differences that you're talking yeah. about. I know. And it's the amount of artists too that now because everybody could be artists because right. they could record in their crib and it's just like you have That's millions true. of artists before right. there was a funnel you had to get in the studio you had to, someone to put your mans on into the, to the label and then they put you out so right. it's right. limited where now everybody's an artist. All right. Now, I'm going to just bounce it around because that's what we do in Drink Champs. No doubt. Now, one of the things I, I, I want to ask is like uh, when, when Jay and Nas was going through that, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a certain time, and I believe he said uh, from Hawaiian Sophie fame or something like that. How did that make you feel? Because, I don't know, how, just yeah. generic, how did it make yeah, you feel? I, it was awkward. Right. Okay. It was awkward because okay. um, I was accused of, uh. you know, giving Nas information. It's like, Oh, oh, not, wow. oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Nah, 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 that one goes through yeah. my head. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't yeah, even facts. know that. Thank you for keeping it real. That's yeah. crazy. Oh, okay. And, and, and me and Nas, we didn't talk like that. Uh, you know, right. we had great rapport, but right. we didn't, you know, we didn't right. talk. Right. Um, so I was accused of that because people were saying, like, people in the circle, they were right. saying, like, well, how did he know this? How did he know that? I was like, he saw it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When, oh. You know, when I was signed to EMI, right. um, we did a college tour. So, by the way, the first hip hop artist signed to PMI. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. You ain't gonna just say that and just skip over. You gonna get into that's that. Huge. That's the huge. The first hip hop artist, nigga. You was with they were red eyed chili peppers and niggas like that, right? <laughs> you know, they were different niggas. Go ahead. <laughs> Two hundred fifty thousand dollar deal and all that. Like, oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that, but let's go into that. I, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, it was huh. a situation where as. Um, you know, he said, well, how did he know all that? And I was like, well, you know, we, we won a college tour. Like, he, he didn't stay on the tour, but, you know, right. he, he came out for main source. He came yeah. out, you know, for Large Live, Professor yeah, when they uh, did... Um, Live at the BBQ, right? right? Exactly. So we were at Norfolk State. That's where I met Nas. You know right. what I'm saying? And he got on stage, and they did the song. Right. And, you know, me and Jay was standing there, and he was like, yeah, this dude, he gonna be something. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. Like that, we we were analysts. That like that's how we did everything. Like yeah, we watched right. everything. But um, so I lost my thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, they used to accuse of, of giving knowledge, of giving information, information. Yeah. during yeah. the battle. Yeah. Yeah. So uh-huh. that's just pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was accused of that, and I didn't give them any information. Like, right. and and were I mean, were you deep, approached by them? Nah. Info? No. Nah. Because I mean everybody who really knew me, they know I ain't that type of thing. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and if I got something to tell you that you may not like, I feel that in the greater or or in the, the, the big picture, if it's something that I feel is beneficial to your well being, I'ma tell you anyway. You ain't gotta like me. I don't need you to like right. me. I don't give a fuck. If I love you, if I care about you, then I care about your well being. You can hate my guts. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I live with that because right. I, I don't I don't breathe and eat and pay my bills off of whether you love me or not. Right. Mm. So I don't need it. Mm. 
What I do need is to be myself, and myself determines that I, I love everybody. Right. So just to, to, to go back to that, like, yeah, I was accused of that shit. Wow. And um, um, I think, in a way, that caused a little friction between, oh, you know, wow. I was, yes, yeah, oh. sort of like the beginning okay. of things, yeah. Oh, okay, so we're going to get back to that. Let's just bounce around, because how did it feel to be... Um, uh, the first person on first hip hop on EMI because now the group now if people say EMI people, you think of uh, you know I think Raekwon had a deal over there now you think of that but yeah. obviously if you're the first hip hop and was it first from your neighborhood no and this is first hip hop no but I'm saying also getting oh, a deal oh, 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 from, oh, the from the neighborhood oh yeah, yeah. I was the first yeah, yeah. yeah. same yeah. thing yeah so it was it was weird and um, you know I felt like what I was a right. fucking guinea pig. Oh, wow. you know, it's like for the label. Yeah, because they didn't see the thing is this: they didn't really know what to do. Right. They just knew like they saw cold chilling at the time. They right. started. They wanted to be involved. Right. Something happened they saw here. Warner, gotta, yeah. A quiet, you know, cold chilling and right. all that other stuff. So they like, yo, that's popping for them. Let's do the so same. Like mid eighties, mid to late eighties. Uh, yeah, eighty, eighty eight. Okay. Wow. Mm hmm. Uh, God damn it! He's so, been getting money since eighty eight for real. <laughs> Real year in hip hop too. Yeah, hip hop. So you, you felt thing. you felt that they didn't understand? Nah, they didn't understand at all. Wow. And and the thing is, they um, I was being promoted and marketed through the uh, urban music department, right. which actually they called it the black black music promotions department. Wow. Uh, yeah. So it, yeah, wow. they weren't even. Politically correct back then. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> niggas music. You know, so push that. Go. One, two, three, go. You know what I'm saying? Damn, so, wow. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, so um so yeah, it, it was crazy. Um after a couple of years, um my man who, you know, he he he's with me in spirit always and with all of us in spirit, uh, my man Harry Fobbs, mm. um he was a, a close friend to uh, JC, who used to run with Kane. Right. Um, JC. So, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Right. So he, so he and I became real cool, and um, you know, he was like, "Yo, why they ain't pushing your music?" Through? I was like, "They don't know what they're doing." He was right. like, "Yo, you should add somebody," and I was like, "Damn, that shit is real crazy, but that shit makes a lot of sense." Right. So I, you know, I inquired, and they were like, "You know, have him come up." So he came up. They interviewed him. You know, none of that. Corporate paperwork shit right. is like you on. Wow. And he became an A&R. Unfortunately, a wow. few months after that, he passed. Oh God bless. God bless. Yeah, shout out to Harry Fobbs. I know you hear me, bro. God bless. God bless. So um, and then Hawaii, Hawaiian Sophie. Let's get to the actually making that record. Did y'all go to Hawaii for the video? Hell no. Oh man, they yeah, messing up my childhood right oh, now. Oh man, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it was like the Hawaii Five O vibe, right? Huh? Yeah. Is that was yeah. that the vibe? I thought y'all was definitely in Hawaii, but go ahead. Yeah. But you know, uh, I, I guess you know, I guess that was they were in the process, you know, right. um, cleaning that money and shit. Okay. So. You know how they do, you know, like, we take this nigga to Hawaii, you know, right, right. we can go right to the warehouse over here and get the, you know. Put some sand on the joint. Exactly. And okay. that's exactly what they did. But, uh -huh. I mean, I, I think it turned out great. Mm. Um, they showed a lot of support in what they did and what they were aware of, you know. Mm. So, I, I appreciate that. Was that officially that. the first record Jay-Z was ever on, like, on, like, like, like video? Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. And like we have video music box for everything. It's first like yeah. visual. God damn, make some noise for jazz. God damn. God damn. Well, he can technically say, I discovered Jay-Z. He can do it. He can do it. There's not a lot of people who can yeah. say that. Yeah. There's not a lot of people who can say that. Say that now, Kane had something to do early on with you guys too, right? Because um, was it you who linked up with Kane and then you brought him around? Oh, this is what happened. So okay. this we gonna we gonna throw Queens in the mix. Oh, okay, quick. let's let's get it. You know what I'm saying? So um, shirt kings. Oh, that's goddamn it. Let's go, damn it. You know, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't afford shirt kings back then. But let's go. Let's All right. Go. <laughs> like, yeah, I was, I was a young bum nigga back then. Go yeah. ahead. But, Keep um, it real. Go ahead. But but uh, Nike from the shirt kings. Nike mm. actually lived around the same way that Jay did. Mm. So. What happened was um, I was coming home from, from college after those two years. Right. You know, I basically dropped out of that shit. Right. So Nike found out, you know, that I was back, you know, in Brooklyn. Right. You know, so I guess he had a uh, heated discussion with somebody else right. because they were talking about this young cat mm -hmm. that's supposed to be nicer than everybody. Right. And then, um, you know, Nike was like, Psh, 
That nigga ain't nicer than Jazz. Jazz right. the nicest nigga, period, mm. point blank. Right. Woo, 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 you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So they were going back and forth. It was like, I right, well, let's find out. All right. So he set up, he set up the meeting, okay. you know, and that's when me and Jay first met. Mm. So I say that, you know, we had like a, um, you know, I rhymed first. Mm. Jay was like, right. and then he rhymed, and right. I was like, right. you know what right. I'm saying? And right. and he was the first, he was the first person that I ever heard rhyme. Like reminded you I, of you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, yeah, you know, right. I gotta I gotta keep eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. so to fast forward, that Nike was like the he was, kicks. Yeah. Okay. He was like the broker for wow. all of this, you know, wow. putting people together type of shit. So, you know, I guess Kane was getting some shit. You know, Kane and a lot of other rap artists uh, yeah. of that time. That was like know, Dapper Dan before Dapper Dan. Or was it before or maybe it, the it same was, time? It was around the same time. Same time. It was okay. just a different, you know, different, different vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so we had a situation like um, same shit came up with Kane right. and me. Right. It's like, no, nah, Kane, this, this, that, and all that. like, Nigga ain't better than jazz. Right. You know, he was right. always screaming that. Nigga right. ain't better than jazz. So, mm. so he set it up. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Fresh Gordon. Mm. Mm. Fresh Gordon, uh, he was a producer. He produced some stuff for the Fat Boys. Mm. He had a, a deal with Tommy Boy. Right. Um, I'm going to tell you another side story okay. about what, he's, what he should be more known and recognized for. But anyway, so, um, so Nike basically set up the meeting. So it was supposed to be a battle again, but you know. And this Kane, this ain't no half stepping Kane. Yeah, this okay. Big Daddy oh, Kane. This is when he Kane, Kane. He fucking Madonna yeah. already and shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. No, 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 not fucking Madonna yet. You know, but you but he was on his way. You know, but um, so he set, so Nike set that up, and we all met at Fresh Gordon's crib, and um, we did this, uh, we did this little. I guess back then you call it a mixtape. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we recorded that. And um, from then on, like we all we all just became cool. Right. You know, because um, it was supposed to be a battle, but Jay was there. And, you know, Jay didn't know, like, should he be rhyming or this, that, and I was like, Shh, come on, man. Like, right. if, it, if it's me, it's you, right. let's go. Right. So we just did it. You know, Gordon, he, 10 minutes, whipped up a beat. Wow, and, we just and went, I made a record. I yeah, said, oh, okay. it, it wasn't a record, but okay. it's um, like rhymed on the beat. Okay. Yeah, we rhymed on the like beat. Like a mixtape joint. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, right. so and that, uh, that's right. what started, and we we established um, a relationship from there. You know, me and Jay used to go out to Queens, right. check on Kane, and we uh, start. He, uh, you know, he started coming to Brooklyn, uh, and he was in Brooklyn uh, and Queens around that time. Uh, Wow. And yeah, y'all all from Marcy, or you, you from Marcy too, or no? Yeah, okay. Born and raised, and um, Sauce Money too, correct? Sauce Money, yeah. Okay. Cause that's the, the the funniest thing, right? When I was um googling you yesterday, I was pulling up the thing. <laughs> it was like it was like almost like the roles is almost reversed, right? Yeah. It was like at one point, you know, he was voicing your opinion, right? Mm hmm. And you know, it got worked out or whatever. And I seen it, so I said, so a uh, Sauce Money interview popped up. Yeah. So in the Source Money interview, he said, he said, yo, Jazz O. And he's talking about you because at the time, and then now it's like the roles is reversed. Now it's like, you know, you you got business with Jay and you like, you know, whatever. And now it's Source Money like sitting back and he's saying like, well, Jay didn't do right. I can't really understand what what's going on. So I'm just being honest from the outside hey, of looking man. in that try to do my research, but I could tell. It's nothing I could ever get unless I got you, you brother standing in front of me. Mm -hmm. what, what do you, what, in your opinion, what do you, how, how can you break that situation down? It, it's very simple. Okay. You know, um, one of the greatest axioms I've ever heard is shit happens. Okay, mm. but would you say but, axioms? Yeah. I need to take that one. What the yeah. fuck does that mean? That, well, it's, it's, a, it's a, a saying. It's a parable? It's like yeah, a, it's a, yeah, yeah, saying okay, or, axioms? Or, or Come on, write that phrase. down, Hass. Please, I need that for later. Text me it. Because <laughs> I need to use that. That was hard. Wait, okay. He's still <laughs> dropping lyrics on us right now. <laughs> we rhyme and talking at the same time. That's all it is. He's got lyrics. That's hard shit. That is hard. Make some noise for that. <laughs> Okay, shit happens. So axioms. Yeah. Okay, and, and but the flip side of shit happens is that. 
people react a certain way. Right. Okay. So the thing, that's and that's the key to it. Everybody focuses on the shit happens part, but mm -hmm. nobody focuses on how do you respond to certain things. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, mm -hmm. similar circumstances, right? right? Roles right. reversed. Right. Different responses. I'm gonna right. keep it right there. Right. Y'all think all of y'all get it. Oh, oh, oh. And we need sauce money here too at the table. Yeah, you man. know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know where this rumor started. Though. Yeah, he, that like, we wouldn't. That, that yeah. like he's being blackballed for drink chances. Absolutely not chance. true at all. I mean, no one. I tell you the truth, no one in this deal. And we've just, cause, uh, we've only been in this deal like uh, not even a year. No, with, with title, with, the, with title, title and everybody. I tell you the, the truth, world. the first people title has ever called for is you. Yeah, they've That's never the, asked us for fact. somebody to be on they or for someone not to not be on. to be on. Never. They have never. They have never. This is the first so, time. This is the first time. This Rock Nation. That's why I was impressed. Right. I was like, this is dope. I was like, you know, me knowing the history because that's something I would like to do for Shout Trash or somebody like building. you know. Trash actually put me on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We had we had our discrepancies and we still have our discrepancies. I still see his shit and be like, this nigga's out of his mind, <laughs> right? But he's my man, and yeah. I was like, that's that's real shit because it's one thing that y'all doing business. And it's a whole nother thing just to reach out and make shit happen. And that, to me, I have to applaud that. Let's applaud that. You know what I'm saying? Let's applaud that. But now, now, because... Now, where does original flavor come in? They come in with Dame Dash. Oh, that's right. They're the Harlem niggas, right? Right. Okay. And, and, yeah, I and, didn't um, know that. And actually, yeah, but actually, um, Ski is from North Carolina. Wow. But he was he was living in Harlem. So hold on, hold on. Time. Wait, but Hawaiian so, Sophie so and original dope. flavor, that's 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 not totally different. Completely different. Different situation. eras, different. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that, that's where Dame Dash comes in. That's because prior to that, there was no Dame Dash, there was no bigs. Right. When you and Jay Okay, all right, so right. all right, so this is this is good shit. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is good shit for hip hop niggas. Go ahead. So yeah, uh -huh. so um so Actually, one of your previous guests, mm. um, Clark Kent, mm -hmm. introduced Dame Dash to uh, Jay and then me and the rest of us right. and um, give you a, a little uh, something y'all might not have known that um, the whole setup originally was for Jay, myself, and Sauce. We were a group. What's and we actually... Group? What's the name of the group? Name of the group? Yeah, pause. Hard pack. <laughs> the hard pack? I can't. Nah, there was a gang in Miami called Hard Pack. So <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Heckler and the crew. Okay. Um, so <laughs> that, that was, I was about to ask you, was you and Jay ever a group too? Was it the originators or no? No. Nah, or that was just a record? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but the so, hard pack. Let's take it from the hard pack. I like yeah, this. So, uh, we, so we did about... It's getting interesting. It's getting yeah, interesting. So we did about... I know I'm going to get calls behind. <laughs> I, don't <give> <laughs> nah, I don't give a fuck. A little round. It's a round. But, um, uh -huh. So we did about we did about six or seven songs wow. together, um, and uh, you know Clark produced some, Ski produced a couple, I produced a couple, and um, just to be clear again, so everybody knows, it's Jay, Sauce Money, and you. Yeah, wow. that's hard pack. Wow. Yeah, okay, just want to make sure. Wow. So Jay Z. Okay. Yo, gotta relax, oh. man. No, I said that. Yo, just black his face out for the rest of the episode. <laughs> it's not gonna be that hard. Just, 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 just stop asking me to pass shit over. I'm not doing it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue. Uh huh. So, mm, so um, there were um, slight discrepancies as far as like um, you know, the decision was sort of made that you know Dame would would manage us so. He wanted everybody to sign and um, to Rockefeller. That was already no, existing. No, no, to, to Dame, to Dame's management, like to oh, sign okay. to him as as management, and um, everybody didn't want to do it. Mm. You know, I I didn't feel like I should do it. It had nothing to do with um, my rapport with Dame. You know what I'm saying? It was just something that I felt a that I shouldn't decision. do. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I think at that time Sauce felt the same way. So that's yeah. what happened with that. Right. But um but yeah that was the that was the beginning of that. Clark uh introduced right. all of us. Right. You guys had records though? Is that six, right? I wouldn't say records, I'd say recordings, where they are, I don't know. Ooh, you know wherever they are, mm -hmm. please surface. Mm. Yeah, I got <laughs> yeah, I, I you know. You could, if you have some, got, just drink chance. Don't, don't, don't tell me you like Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes got dats from 1988. 
You ever hang out with Buster Ron? Yo, listen, he is crazy. He be having the he be having the old school dats. I be wanting to say, yo, how the fuck do you even remember where these shits is at? Like, I'm talking about, yo, you, you ever seen? He has the rails, he has everything. But I'm sorry to cut you off. Oh, no, no, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. You, so you, you don't know where these records exist at all? No. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. Some engineer Some, is somewhere like this. I somebody got it. like <laughs> wait till these motherfuckers <laughs> die. And no, shit. no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Just 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 up up we gonna live forever. We gonna live forever. Over here, Jay Chess, we live forever. God damn it. But it did make for a good joke. You right, know right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the hard pack. I definitely, definitely, that's hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's hard. That's pack. hard, hard. <laughs> but um, so now this London trip, right? It's so it's so iconic because we get to hear Jay even talk about like him going to London or whatever. But ironically, this London trip, he actually went with you. Yeah. He was like, so you, can, can you describe that for the people? Because the people, I mean, that's dope. Like when they see Jay and the Beamer, and it's like his history. But it's, mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's dope and it's humbling to know that, that when I found out, I was like, it was actually a trip that Jazz O brung Jay. Yeah. So, so you could describe that? Yeah. So it was the, um, you know, it was, I don't know. I don't, well, I know why. I just don't want to. Go, you know, do that to people. But right. we we went to London to record my album, mm. so it was myself, Jay, and Irv Gotti. Mm. Ooh, and, still um, on EMI. This is on EMI, right? Yeah, this was yeah, this was. My, this is Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti told us that it was, it was you. But go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we um, so we were there for like two months. Mm. Irv got homesick. He broke out. Wow. And uh, we stayed. Mm. Um, but it was a. Uh, um, it was a, a very good experience besides the food. Right. Oh, you didn't know how to eat roti back then? I couldn't find no roti. Okay. They, wouldn't take, yeah, they, they, wouldn't take it, they wouldn't take us to, uh, what is it, Brixton? Uh, Brixton. Oh. They wouldn't take us to Brixton. Cause, yeah, we, our oh. photographer's from London. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you know, my first time, that's the first thing they said. They said, go see the Rasta them. <laughs> I said, no mm-hmm. problem. And I went straight to the Rasta on them. Nah, they told yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> they told us, go to the studio. Because uh-huh. they, they ain't know. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Go to the studio. Yeah. We went to the Y, you know, sometime, you know, play some ball. Uh-huh. And back, you know, wow. I did have a flat right. in this affluent area mm. somewhere. I don't know where the hell we were, but right. we were living good. Right. That's um, hard. So um, that that was that was an, uh, a very great experience. It was the, um, I couldn't believe it. And I really, I really couldn't, Grasp what was going on until I had an actual um, release uh, celebration. Mm. You know, uh, you know, really for the completion of, of the album mm. in London, and we were in a, um, a Cadillac stretch, mm. which was mm. almost like having a, a Bentley stretch yeah. at yeah. that time yeah. here. That was a go- it's a ghost, goddamn it! You go ahead, yeah, yeah Bentley's yeah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So mm. basically, um, then it hit me. I was like. Oh, I'm doing it. Right. You know, because the right. whole time, it's just like regular shit. You right. know, me, Irv, and Jay, we clowning around and shit. Right. We go to this this um, restaurant every Wednesday, and we run into all type of right. people that's coming through. Like, I met Anita Baker out there. Oh, shit. Uh, Keith Sweat came out there. George Duke, may yeah. live forever. Um, so, yeah. So, it, it, was, it was a great experience. But that's when I realized, I was like, oh, oh, this shit is real. Hip hop could go, it could really go. Exactly. Now you fought to have Jay Z on your cover. This is your album. Mm-hmm. What made you? What made you say that? Like, yo, that's that's who the fuck but I you am. You man. fought for it. Yeah, like I, 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 yeah. like the, I wasn't the label. This is what I heard. Yeah, the, the you label, heard right. Yeah, you know, the label was like, what? This is your album. You should be on here solo, and. Yeah, I, this is from what I heard, you said, fuck that, this is what I want to do. Yeah. But I just want to hear it from your mouth. Like, yeah. And, and, I, you know, I, and, and why did you want to do that? Yeah. Because that was my bro. Right. Uh, you know, and I felt like. Hold on, hold on, he, let's make some noise for it, man. <laughs> That's real shit, though. That's you know? real shit. And, and I felt. Let me stop you, because people okay. wasn't doing that at the time. I, right. you seen it with Ray and Ghost. Right. Right, yeah. You didn't know that came from here. That this was that was the first time like I had seen that, someone yeah. put like every now and then you probably see somebody with their homeboy or their dancers 
or right. they dancers right. or somebody like that. You never see somebody or the put DJ another, in the, in the artist, or DJ, yeah. but but yeah, that means that's when they was in a group together. Right, right. First time I ever seen the artist had put another artist on their cover. Yeah, that's crazy. Was this? This is this is the first time. I don't know if I'm. You know, I don't a, remember it. Uh, yeah, I didn't remember you. I remember you being the first one. Yeah, that's, that's all I remember. God damn it, I remember that. God damn it. Okay, so again, let's, let's reiterate what I was just asking. Like, what made you want to do that? Like, you know what I mean? That, that's just who I am, man. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't help it. Right. Like, right. you know, I'm not, it, it you know, it, it's intellect behind it. Mm. It's like, he deserved it. Mm. And I felt like, Damn, all this bullshit I gotta go through mm. or that I went through to get to that point. Right. You know, he shouldn't have to go through that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So if I can make it easy, show mm. his face, wow. and everybody right. like, well, what does he do? And this I was like, shit, he rhymed, you know, right. and so I I basically that that was just how it was. You know, I didn't have a I didn't have like a steady DJ. Mm. So I was like, you know, and I could be on here by myself, but that's not, that's just not how I feel about myself. Right. right. And I feel like, you know, our greatest value is our value to Like our pulling people. somebody else up. Right. Yeah. Right. Our, our, you know, whoever you, whoever you express yourself to. Right. And, you know, that, to me, that's your value. Right. And, um, I just, that's what I was just compelled to do. And I told, I fought for it. I was like, yo, that's my man. And it's like, you know, y'all gonna have problems if he ain't on the um, on the album, at least on the back. They didn't put him on the front, but right. Right. on the back, it's like y'all gonna have problems. I'm not gonna cooperate. And y'all already mm. gave me money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Nah, nah, let's, let's salute to that, man. Come on, what? Let's salute to that. Let's salute to that, man. I respect that. Michelada. I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you something, man. Thank you. I know I said it off camera. But I had a Michelada in San, San Diego. I still haven't stopped shitting from that. <laughs> <laughs> from nine years ago, my bro. Uh, because, of my, because of my boy Cows. But I ain't gonna front. That's a quiet taste, right? Like, I, think a, I think a rapper makes his brand, as a matter of oh, fact. Yeah. A rapper from the West. I, I think it's, I think it's shot time. I got, a, I got a shot in me. A Michelada? You want a shot of Michelada? That's not gonna happen, <laughs> sir. That is not gonna happen, sir. We're gonna do a shot. Come on, let's do a shot of something. Tiger, I gotta take my sweater off now. <laughs> man, you wore a sweater for that? Yeah, oh, I, shout out to Capone, yeah, man. Shout out to Capone, you know, Akasi clothing. Oh, that's how. Jesus, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Gotta support your homie. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. So, so, um, yeah. All right, cool, because we're gonna oh, start awesome. sweating. Real awesome. We gotta start, niggas gotta Remember. start learning how to make sweaters without the shit that stuck to your shit. Oh, wow. Like, if, you look, if this shit is sticking, I just put this shit on one time. Come on. Remember, there's no, it's limited now. There's no more... Uh, there's no more tigers? Yeah, especially with the coronavirus. Oh, shit. Oh, Y'all got the stretcher, right? Yo, so listen, let me just tell you something. I don't know if you know, but our show is about bigging our legends up. You know, every other, every other culture, when you have 10 years or more, they call you season. There's people right now getting 70 years old, having contracts and touring the motherfucking Rolling world. Stones and all these and, guys, and, and, yeah. and continue. And they call them season. In our culture, no other culture there's a word called washed up. Only our culture. Facts. And I fucking hate that. Me personally, I wanna I wanna say that we are legends and we are superheroes and we're gonna continue to motherfucking keep our legends and our superheroes alive and keep them motherfucking relevant. That's what this show is about. So we celebrate your life, we celebrate your legacy, and we celebrate your career. And that's what the fuck we do here, Josh. You know what I'm saying? Salute. Salute. Oh, Sonny D, you here? You got a shot? Why you got the smaller shot then? I hope y'all got a stretch over there for me. We just drank coronavirus. Yo, why you gave me the broken one, bro? Oh, yeah, let's, let's stop with the coronavirus. That shit too close to my hood. Oh, thank you. Ah, yo, that shit was a late response. What is this? I, I already huh? drank it. What is this? That's called Tiger Bone. It's actually... Oh, the Tiger Bone. Yeah, yeah that's actually, Tiger Bone, yeah. It's actually a, a herb. It's actually not supposed to no, be it's bad. it's many herbs. It's not just it's, one it's, herb. Yeah, yeah. But you see, one shot, that's what we're supposed to do it. Yeah. So, now, all right, now the rumor is, you know, you and, you and Jay, y'all good. Originators drop one of the illest records... First of all, describe that, like, because this is the first time you see your man, like, like he's shining, and then he mm -hmm. comes and he puts you on originators. Is that how, it, is that, or I'm, I'm missing a couple of things? Oh, no, nah, no, nah. it, okay. it was, we, 
you know, it was during that that time, and you know, he was bubbling, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I guess the idea came up, and I right. think that um, they felt it inappropriate to do a song like that, and right. it would be, um, it would just be bigger to have me on a song. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, so you know, love is love, right. and you know, he called me. I'm actually, I'm actually writing a book. Mm. Uh, mm. Um, that that uh, gives the account, you know, the backstory to right. all the events leading up With to me going to the studio. You gotta uh, have a script to that book. Uh, well, actually, it's it's going to be um, it's a volume of um, what I foresee as numerous volumes, and it's basically going to be like an, an analyzation of some of my landmark verses mm. and, and gives lessons in poetic license, like Matapia, wow. simile. Metaphor. Well, it's the right time you know to do saying? shit like that. I'm gonna tell you know, you know, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, it's the right time to do shit like that. Cause content, if you produce that shit, or, or you produce it, and just you know, well, you're like, saying the book right now. The book, oh, I'm talking about, a series oh, of I'm books. I'm talking about the book and the but motherfucking it be visual. Script, Cause you know, I'm not content, that smart to read books content, and shit like that. Yeah. Like me personally, I'm not a read booker, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's it's kind of obvious. I said a read booker. I watch the shit out of something though. You watch, I watch the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's most people. I watched my next movie way more than I read There's the book. There's audio books, But man. I love the book, too, man. I, I, listen, I'm not in the audio books yet. Okay? I'm not into it yet. I feel like I'm going to get into it eventually. Right. But I feel like I got to go back to reading some more. I'm reading Message to the Millennials. Um, Reza Islam. Reza Islam came he, um, and uh, he gave me a book. I read the front page today. I felt good. Um, yeah, but then I realized... Just the cover? Yeah, I read, I, read the, I read the one page and then I read the back and I said, it's stupid. I said, it's a start, it's a start, it's a start, it's a start. And if you do one a day, you do it two months. There you go, there you go, you know what I mean? And we, yeah, yeah, so, okay, so, what, 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 um, all right. What is your favorite thing in hip hop? Is it making the record or performing the record? Mm. Man, that's that's a tough one. That's always been but, tough for me. But I will I will say performing the record. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because as you well know. It's like shooting a gun. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like you got and the gun. You, how you know it work? Exactly. <laughs> Let me exactly. shoot that motherfucker. Yeah, shoot. Right. <laughs> you gonna stand in the way? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 But. Uh -huh. I, you know, as we all know, everybody doesn't really perform right. to the same extent as they're recording. Mm. So to me, it's sort of like a crown achievement when you could mm. get on stage and you could give it up the same way that shit sound on a record. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's special. And, and it's special and it's unique Jeez. because everybody can't do it. Mm. Right. You know, everybody can't do it. So like... I've always prided myself on that, on breath control, like, you know, all the mm. technical shit that, you know, nobody gives a fuck about right. when they listen to a record. It's like, oh, that shit banging when it's in the club or this, that, and the other, or it's riding music. That's all they're thinking about. That's all they're supposed to think about. Right. Your job is to do all of the other things, the intangibles that make the record what it is that makes them not think right. about any of that shit. You know, that, that's ill because that's, I, and you know, I, I, again, you know, I critique this young generation because I have to, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between their music and our music. Is you can tell we didn't punch in. You can tell we didn't have the, the, uh, the, the technology. Uh, the technology to go, right. you know, stop this. And that's why you see these guys, they go like, all their flows is going like this. And it's, it's not and that's their why when fault. They it's their punching they in. They're going, over, over the tracks. <laughs> Punch me, punch me, punch me, punch me, punch me, punch me, punch me. Which is impossible to do it live. They have to rhyme over their vocal tracks. Exactly. Because it's impossible. And that was my next question. Has there ever been somebody you were scared to say, I don't I don't want to perform after him? Oh hell no. Never. 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 Never ever. God damn, make some noise for that. And I mean on stage. On stage. Stage, stage, studio. Okay. Club, I don't give right. a fuck. You that confident? I'm jazz O. Right, right, mm. yeah, right. right. I asked Little Wayne this, I gotta ask you that. Right now, you're getting a record with Hope. Right now, you taking Hope's head off? <laughs> I ain't trying to take his head off. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> All right, you ain't Yo, trying I'm, I'm but if you happen money, to take man. his head off, <laughs> you, you gonna leave your verse. Huh? <laughs> nah, just play it. Nah, he gonna, he gonna put his best foot forward, right. I'm gonna put my best foot forward. Right. I got, I got. Great right. confidence in myself, and right. I got great confidence in him. Right. And Beautiful. you know, I, I've told people like right. it's like 
y'all niggas sleeping. Like, mm. Mm. He, you know, like, it's, it's so crazy. Like, for what we hear, mm. like, he's still that far beyond mm. the, the, the 95 percentile. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying, mm. and, and you gotta you gotta respect it, and I and I that's one thing I did foresee. I was like, as long as he maintains his normal health and everything like that, right. he gonna be able to go. Right. He gonna always be able to go, and you know, niggas young, middle age, old, whatever, like they they still like I hear stuff. I don't, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't really listen to too much shit. I barely mm. listen to my own shit, right. and like. I don't really see nobody, you know, fucking with them like that. And if they do, they need to turn off all of the auto tune and mm. the super punch ins and mm. all that other shit. We ain't have no punching like oh, so. Oh. If our timing was off, it's like nah, I gotta do that shit. Motherfuckers had to cut tape to, mm. to do edits. Oh, he had to run around with little dwarfs. Yeah, course. he had to cut rails. tape. Little dwarfs, little dwarfs called rails. You don't remember that yeah. shit? Yeah, the real, you know, the real yeah. Yeah. Like Eighteen pounds, bro. Yo, uh-huh. and, and and what's crazy. I used to be in D and D, where they had like, um, you know, they had sessions where they had like, you know, house music and shit like that. Mm. So you know, them little parts where niggas was going, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so nigga with a motherfucking um, razor blade. Yep. Yep. Like I saw this one cat. I can't remember his name. He had like, if if somebody op- if somebody slammed the door, like he he probably would have killed them. But because he had like, yo, I'm telling you, he had, like, to be precise. he had like 30 <laughs> little slivers that he had lined up that he had to tape, you know, on right. as an edit, right. you know, to do some ill ass. That's edit. crazy. That's, that's, that's you know how hard of a job right that there. shit is. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's what I'm saying. When these kids be like, yo, I, I did, I did the record in such and I'm like, I, it sounds like you did. <laughs> yo, <laughs> I'm like, I, I did my shit in five minutes. I know. <laughs> you put no effort at all, and your engineer didn't care. Like these engineers, they, they the just hour. as high. Like they just as high. The engineers. You said D D. Shout out to Premier. You were with Premier, right? Oh, most definitely. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying it for the. Didn't, yeah, yeah. didn't Premier produce one of the Jay Z diss records, which is awkward. Let's just be clear. I mean, um, let's, we gotta talk about it. Did he? Yeah, diss I believe so. For him? Which one? For Jay to him? I, I believe so. That's popped up. As soon I, as I, I don't know because, like I said, you, you had so many beats, you was just going and, crazy. And then, yeah, crazy. and then I don't really, right. I don't really care, man. Right, right. Like I was, I was more listening to that stuff. Like I would listen less to anybody else. If I was tracking shit, I would be tracking who was listening to my shit. Right. You know. However, that sound it is what it is. And what was the actual discrepancy? Because everyone, when you, when you when you Google it, like I said, I had to do my research, and it was great that I was like kind of like, you know, out of it yesterday, so I had all the time to keep going. Mm-hmm. And one of the th- stories it says um, that it was over a contract. Nah. Okay. It, it, the truth of the matter is, and I hate to burst a lot of people's bubble, right. but it really wasn't anything. It was between the media and. Certain crab ass mm-hmm. bullshit weak motherfuckers in the circle. Mm. That was basically it. Mm. You know, saying saying certain things like, all right, I'll give you an example, like, like, um, and I'm not I'm not I'm not boosting myself. I'm not I'm not saying this egotistically, mm-hmm. but I'm I'm sincere to a fault sometimes mm-hmm. because I give people too much credit. Mm-hmm. So like if somebody says something or they'll say it to me, and they're disgruntled about something, and then it's like, all right, that's confidential. I respect it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then if somebody, if, if you turn around and the same person that said that to me goes to the person mm. and they say something about me and then say and try to fix what they said, and then the person that they're talking to comes back to me, then I gotta let it go. Right. Because the same thing you asking me to do, you ain't do it. Mm. You just, you, you know what I'm saying? You just let that shit loose. So it's like, nah, I'm not gonna do it to the point where I'm gonna take a blow for you and make myself look a certain way. So it's like, I'm gonna give it up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is what happened, this is what happened. You can put the nigga on the phone right now, I'm gonna say the same shit that I'm saying in your face right now. Mm. So I'm sincere to a fault. Mm. And I think a lot of niggas around that time in that circle, they ain't like that. Right. They ain't like that. And then, 
you know, some of them niggas, they was just bitch ass niggas. They just wanted to be right. closer to this dude, and they knew that there was nobody closer to him than right. me because right. we was bros. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, that was just that was that's it. Right. That was just it. I don't want to name names because I don't want nah. nobody coming at me. Then I gotta hurt somebody <laughs> nah. or have somebody hurt me. Nah, 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 I, I'm nah, not nah, impervious yeah. to pain to 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 um injury, but right. I am almost yeah. Right. <laughs> Goddamn, make some noise for that. Yeah. Goddamn. Goddamn. Nah, but you know it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see men be men. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing about it is, they say how you come in is how how you go out, right? If you come in, you come in butt naked, and how you go out, you go out butt naked. And mm -hmm. the thing is, if you can, you know, make amends with the people you started with, and y'all can get some money together and do some business together, that's a beautiful thing. So, like, how did that, like, how did that come? Because I seen the first picture, I believe, was with no ID. Yeah. So, um, and I don't, I forget where that was at. I forget that first picture. United was. Center in Chicago. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's an ID. He's from. Yeah, Chicago, no ID. Right? is from yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. He's from the shop. So, so how did that happen? Like because. The, well, there was a. I tell you something. Not, not the only the NSU was shocked, but they were happy. This was like the first time they was like, oh, fuck, yes, like finally, like yeah, yeah, like you know, all other Jay's discrepancies, we, you know, we, we we can see without, but this was something that I think everyone was just like, that's dope. Like this is like sincerely a dope thing. Now the business part is later, but let, let's describe that first picture when we seen it was you, Jay, and no idea. This is for years of turmoil going on, and now boom, this is it. Yeah. So for um, firstly, there was somebody I was doing some business with in Chicago who's from Chicago. Um, they're actually from Detroit, but they live in Chicago. And, um, you know, one of their main things was to put us together. Wow. And I was like, that's cool, that's great, but, you know, let me, let me press the, the button on that. Right. So they just jumped the gun. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like, you know, it's the perfect opportunity, this, this, that, and the other. So I'm like, I, I'm a path of least resistance guy. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried. Right. So um, so he said he, you know, he, he talk, actually talked to uh, uh, Emery Jones. Mm. So... It's a homie. Yeah. So we, so we basically... He, so Emery set it up. Wow. And um, so we got, you know, we went to Will Call. And we met in the green room and... It was just regular shit. Like, I ain't seen him since last month or something right. like that. He's like, Jazz. Right. It's like, Jay was good. Right. You know, right. handshake, hug. Right. I can and, literally see this going on, by yeah. the way. <laughs> like, I can literally go ahead and And, and, it, and it, it, was, uh, it was beautiful. Right. It was beautiful. Um, and I always like my chances with shit. So I didn't, right. expect, any, I didn't expect anything negative, right. you know, because, I mean, everything was, you know, I wouldn't have got that far right. if it was, right. you know, if something exactly. was, you know, a ride. Right. But right. Um, the beautiful part about it was um, he just stood in front of me and, you know, I didn't say much and he didn't say much, but he just went like this. Right. And I was like, that said everything. Yeah. And I was like, that takes me off the hook because now I ain't got to be awkward and say anything and <laughs> right, shit and he ain't gotta right, say nothing right, so right, we just right. start talking about yeah so what you been up to and yeah. you know little shit you know yeah. nudges and shit right. like that right. you know so it was, it was beautiful nah I ain't gonna lie y'all act the same just being honest with you like 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 it's it's the smoothness that's with you it's the same smoothness like you can tell like I knew you wasn't gonna yell this whole interview I knew you <laughs> I, knew, I knew it like I, you know what I'm saying like I, that's like that's the good thing like I said I was just so exhausted that like I don't want to describe myself as being sick yesterday but I was like I was exhausted but the good thing was I could still move my motherfucking fingers so I just kept watching everything yes. mm -hmm. like I watched everything about you like this is the thing is like I get into art when I'm about to interview you I'm you <laughs> like I'm yeah. you, like that's how much I like. I want to be incognito. You know what I mean? Like, the, got you. And I just knew. I just and the, th the crazy thing is, is that a Marcy thing? Like, where y'all 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 don't blow y'all cool? Nah, it's it's not that. Cause I I oh. mean. I know a lot of niggas like I got to <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yo man chill out. They just said what's up man. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no, I think. Sometimes, I mean, it's an expression of our own egos when you come into contact with someone and you tend to, um, you know, you, you have kindred spirits. Right. So you like, 
oh, I, I like that dude. He's cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's because you see the things that you like about yourself right. in somebody else. Right. So I think that has a lot to do with it. And then around that time, up until like for so many years, like we were around each other all the time. Right. Right. So right. there would be times where somebody would say something and we would respond with the same phrase at right. the same exact time. <laughs> no, I can see like that. Twins. I can see that. Yeah, nah, that, nah, yeah, see that, that type of shit. So, so yeah, um, maybe you know it's, it's, it it resonates to this day in some form or fashion. So then, after you guys see each other, um, how does this business deal happen? How does this happen? Because you know you guys see each other. That's great. Just a, making amends. That's yeah. that's good enough. Like for me, like yeah. You know, um, if I had beef with one and of my And that was a homies, while ago, too, when that happened, right? It was like... Like two, three years ago, yeah, I think, something yeah. like that. But then yeah. now, this deal be, is announced. Mm -hmm. Your imprint, this is your shit, mm -hmm. right? Correct? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's a, it's a distribution deal? Yeah, it's a distribution deal. So, so how does this happen? Like, Well, I mean, it really wasn't that complicated. Um, this happened um, months later. This was on the... Um, the um, On The Run 2 tour, and he was in Detroit. Uh -huh. And um, so I told him, I said, I, you know, I was doing some business in Detroit around the time, because one of my people told me, he's like, yo, you know, um, same time you in Detroit, you know, your man's going to be out there. I was like, word? I was like, so let me see what's going on. And then, um, like, yeah, man, it'd be great to see you. And he was like, yeah, that's perfect. So, right. you know, same shit, we'll call. And... Um, we were chopping it up, and you know, he was just doing his thing, relaxing. Um, but he kept asking me, like, so, Jazz, what's up? What you doing? What's going on? You know, and I was, you know, I, I'm usually very transparent, right. but I, I wasn't, right. you know. And, you know, I say, you know, I'm just, but I, I did tell the truth, you know what right. I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm still, you know, doing music, right. you know, I'm waiting for the right opportunity, you know, to, to make certain things happen, press some buttons. And um, he was like, all right. So he let it go. He saw that I was sort of being a little bit evasive. But uh, long story short, you know, he was saying um, he was about to, you know, prepare for, you know, the stage and everything, you know. So I uh, basically, I pull him to the side, like, let me chop it up with you for a second. It's like, you know, and I asked him, I was like, you know, I know you got you know, this is this row and this, that, and the other, and that's what I need. It's like, can you help me with that? He was like, say no more. I'll connect you with my people, and that was it. Wow. Goddamn, wow. make some noise for that. Goddamn. Did, did you feel that at that moment you had to humble yourself to do that or not? Nah. Because you know, some I, people feel like egotistically they can't do it. They can't. Oh, the ego is a big thing. They can't go in like there. Like some people can't, can't, can't remember their little homie turning into the big homie. And yeah, yeah. That. Right. And right. you people. can't see, you, you, even though you see opportunity, you won't go for the opportunity because you, great, your ego that's, that's is in the way of it. You're mm -hmm. like, I can't do that because yeah. of this pride I have. Yeah, nah. But I, I mean, I looked at the big picture like, right. you know, opportunity knocks. Right. You know, and and also um And deserving as well, because you could even be deserving and not take the shot right, because right. of the pride, you know? Right, right. right. And and I, I felt like um and I still feel that way. Um, you know, people say like, Oh, it's great, you know, these things that are happening, you deserve it. And I and I, I stop them and I tell them, like, I don't deserve the shit unless I take it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it could be I could have all these accolades and all yeah, that shit. You have to go but if I don't go yeah. get it, I don't deserve it. Absolutely. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's and and I you know, that's when I, I just asked him and you know, it wasn't wasn't a, a big thing for him to do and um it wasn't a big thing for me to ask. Absolutely. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing though. Let me just say that. Yes, man. indeed. Outside of looking in. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because because um, to me, to me, that's exactly what it is, man. Like you know, um, I know you brothers are brothers. Like you know, what I'm saying the history y'all got is so rich that it's like, it, it's that's rich. That that's rich in itself. That's the definition of rich to me. Is when you have the rich history, when you have that type of shit like that, and um, True. to see it come back together in 360, like you and Capone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's that's motherfucking dope shit. So I just want to commend that. I want to salute that. I want to salute you. I want to uh, thank you for being a part, but we ain't going. We ain't in there. Hold on, I'm gonna take some more. Um, a no, no more shots, right? Oh, y'all want another? One shot. more Tiger Bone, I think. One more, but you, I know, you know, three is my lucky number. 
Yeah. Let's, we could do one more. I, I heard two, more. two okay. Tiger Bone shots of how you running up and down the beach. No, no, no. <laughs> we can't take three because you know. it's a scarce right now. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, now when you see... Yeah, you're trying to kill me, Mr. Lee. You come from the era. I know, I know this is a little crazy. We, well, you come from the era, and then I come from the era right after you, where we avoided cameras at all costs. Exactly. Like, it was just totally different. Like, now you walk around, these people are just filming you without... Uh, how do you adapt no, to self-surveillance now. Like, yes. Well, they, everyone's they own the paparazzi. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, you don't like me or something? All right. You gave me the, the diesel. Yeah. That's okay. I'll take it down. I don't see that having a good time tonight. <laughs> but yeah. how do you adapt to that? Like, that, I mean, with me... you come from the super drug dealer era. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, 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 and this is the thing, too. Like, yeah, I don't know why you I got come from the right middle now. drug dealer. I don't know, like, yeah, like, He's like, yes, the super drug dealer. You, you know what I mean? And no one wanted cameras. I remember nope. people would be heated. You take a picture of them. Yeah. But, yeah. So, 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 two stories. One, as a child, like, it was like, I never, like, and I had, like, one of those fathers is, like, try to, you know, just con you or bribe you into it. Like, Come on, let's take this picture. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to take a picture. Right, mm. right. And he's like, I'll give you a quarter. Right. You know, back then, quarter yeah. was like $10. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Right. The ice cream right. man can't quarter got you a lot. Right, right, exactly. Right. So, you know. Um, so remember back then, a dime bag was a dime. <laughs> oh, wow. Good. Wow. So, Willie Nelson said that. Good. So, um, so well, I never you, really you wanted to take a tiger bone. No, no, he was sipping his wine. Oh, all right, cool. I thought yeah. you, I thought you cheated and sipped some Tiger Bone. Oh, my oh, bad. Oh, no, 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 I ain't gonna do that to you. <laughs> tiger Bone, do that to you. You know, um, yeah. So <clears throat> as I got older, like, yeah, you know, with the with the things going on, like nobody wants wanted to be in pictures. Mm -hmm. And what was so funny, I just recently um, shot the video for the first single. Uh, M A R C Y, mm -hmm. and of course I shot it in Marcy, mm -hmm. and you know some of the um, OGs came out, right. and I was like, "Yo, y'all want to get in this shot?" And then he's like, "Nah, nah, you got it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Come on, man, we a hundred years old. Like, you been out for a minute, like, like you still, you still doing shit? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it ain't even that. It's that cold they following. It's, exactly." The code they follow. Exactly. Well, it was like, yeah, nah, I'm that's follow right. a code. My oh, code is sure. keep saluting yeah. my brothers, yeah. my Thank people you. in there. Yeah. Yo, oh, I literally got the yeah. biggest yeah. shot here. Now, yeah. Drink your shot. Yeah. 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 I am here. Yeah. Now, we'll uh. be lit on the plane. Marcy <laughs> Projects. <laughs> got you, you got Jay, you got Sauce, you got Fleet. What's the new generation coming from Marcy Pride? Because you, because I understand your deal is a a, a label deal. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you you can sign other people, correct? You can have other people do your because it's a distribution deal. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. No problem. This time alone, I apologize. You might have to yeah, take some, some red wine. That, that's the only thing that makes it work less is drink some more liquor. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Yeah. I mean, I'm game. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> so you can actually sign other people. What what would you look for in a new artist? Would you go back to Marcy, or what, what would you do if you? I got to. Okay. I got, I have to because yeah. <clears throat> so many so many people fail mm. where they where they come from. Like, and for us, that's a large that's that's a big part. It's an integral part of what we are is where we came from. Mm. So it's important to go back to where you came from, mm. find what you are mm -hmm. or what you were, mm -hmm. and, and nurture that. It's like helping yourself. It's, it's, yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like yeah, if you went back key. in time, and if right. you could have that, you're trying to do that for somebody else. Right, it's the key to being a master and a servant. Right. Like Ooh. people look at a master and not realize that a true master is a servant of Ooh. others. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So it's, so, you know, so it just keeps going in, in a cycle. For the Ooh. most part, so. God damn it. That was hard. A true master is a servant. Mm. You can't really be that guy unless you serve someone else. That's all. Yeah. That's, so what's the next step? So now we we got the deal. You said you got to take it. Mm hmm So what's the next step from here? Um, just push the hell out of this single. Yeah, the project. Uh, you got to tell us about the project. Yeah, let's talk about the, the project. project. Yeah, the project. Is called the warm up, mm. which is 
more controversy. Right. If anybody familiar with, you know, uh, another uh, project that Which was is titled. out now. By the time this comes out, it's out now. People need to go pick it up mm. now. Yes. Um, all, all major platforms. Um, it's 10 joints. Um, I recently had a, um, a listening party in Chicago wow. that turned out really well. Wow. And um, the consensus of what I'm getting is everybody saying, yo, it sounds like a, a motion picture. Mm. And, and, and you, I, I remember your thought, but you real hip hop. You not, you not, you not, you don't got T-Pain on your shit. Doing, oh, but it doesn't mean nah. T-Pain's not hip hop. Yeah, you, you don't mean Come on. You got, <laughs> not, not, not T-Pain not real hip hop. I'm no, saying man, you T-Pain's not a rapper, but I'm, you I know, know what you're saying. You know, like, but you, you know, know you ain't no auto tune on I me. Mean, you ain't no, you ain't got, you ain't got future talking about, um, you know what I mean? Not, not one, and that's and that's no disrespect to anybody. No, that's my niggas. But no disrespect to myself. You gotta keep it true. It's authentic to you. Yeah, so, yeah. So how 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 difficult is that? Because making music in this time, do you ca- try to cater to these new guys, or do you say fuck these motherfuckers? Let me stay in my little lane. Well, what my, do we say? My the, the saying I always say to myself uh-huh. is is stick to my guns. Stick when people to. ask What you called that earlier? Correlatively, shit happens? What was it called, that word? Uh, axiom. Axiom. Ax- 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 what? Axiom. Axiom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, axiom. Yeah. What's the axiom for that one? Uh, stick to your guns. Stick to your motherfucking guns, the axiom, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> so you kept it all hip-hop. Yeah, I kept what I feel is hip-hop. You know, I had to give them that triplet shit and the yeah. double-up shit. Which is ahead of its time when you yeah, did it. Yeah. Like if you were ahead of your time then, doesn't mean you you can't be ahead of your time now. Cause right. let's let's be clear. Let's just be clear. If you listen to originators and you hear how y'all motherfuckers was hitting the cadences, a lot of people will call that like a down south style. They will say that, you know, all that flow. It was a certain rhyme style a certain flow. Rhyme like, flow. A and that's the reason why I kind of feel like that song was even called the originators. That's why. And, I'm, and that's not to down south people because down south people actually rhyme different. But when you when a person trying to do a down south actual flow, I feel like they go and they like listen to originators. Am I out of line for saying that? Or no, nah. okay, no. Nah, that's the to me. That's the um, that's the foundation. Because right. wasn't nobody doing it. Right. I think I think people say down south flow because of Outkast, okay. who made that that style. I think down south more popular. But down south flow was really an accent of down south. When I say that, I don't mean down south people doing it. When people emulate a down south flow, when you right. hear, oh, okay, uh, I see what you're when saying. they yeah, emulate yeah. it, like when they're saying, like, "This is my down south flow." When you, yeah, and when you hear bone thugs, right, right, hear, okay, like, okay, I kind of okay. right. feel like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like they, but the original one was the originators. Right. Am I bugging or like? Nah, it's true. Oh, okay, it's true. That was the original one, um, and it was actually. The original originators, which was on my second album in mm. 1990, mm. you know, and y'all had that flow back then. Yeah, yeah. and it, and and actually, um, what that flow was, it was a triplet. It was a triplet as opposed to like how they double time. Right. Nowadays, mm. it was a triplet style. Mm. Yeah, nobody was doing that. <clears throat> What are I'm, you not doing? Gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I just felt good about this. Hold on. <laughs> I just didn't want to stop. Like, I just was like, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we are. I'm surprised you didn't put it over your arm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, hold on, hold on. This is Ace of Spade. We don't put that in the trash. Put it back down. Put it back down. We're feeling good. We have motherfucking Jazz O in the building, man. The originator. Um, the originator. Thank uh, you. Uh, one of the super legends. And that's what this show is about, man. This show is about. When we started this show, we wanted to salute legends like you. We wanted to salute, you know, um, the illest thing about, I always say the illest thing about motherfucking Batman is Clark Kent, right? That's Batman? No, no, that's Superman. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bruce Wayne. Batman is Bruce Wayne. Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. And, and I said, I said, I agree with you. I was like, are you saying Superman? Huh? Are you okay. saying no, no he both? Said I'm Batman. saying both. I'm saying that hip hop to me is both. Like, hip hop to me is is the illest thing about us is the, our superhero capability, but then our normal capability. Right. And that's what I love about our generation is that we just have to continue. And the thing is, the thing that me and my partner, we sat here and we thought about, we said, yo, listen, man, these people don't salute the people that been here too long. They want to kick these people out. And I got to change that 
We want to change that, and I believe we are changing that. Yes. So I just want to salute you, Jazz. I want to say how much you appreciate it. I want to say how much that I, I, you know, I'm a hip hop fan. You know what I mean? So I've seen you like when I see, you know, the history. You know, I googled everything. I was just like, this is so dope. This is and and you know for you and homie, um, you know, to start out together, you know, go through your check, go through, and y'all coming back together. That is a beautiful thing. I think this should be uh, magnified. That's what they're called, right? Like, like yeah. it yeah. makes the letters bigger. Magnify. Yes. I feel like it should be magnified. I feel like it should be saluted. And I feel like it should be praised. You know mm. what I'm saying? And if anybody else ain't gonna do it, guess what? I'll be the fa- very happy to be the first Woo! one to do it. Yeah. You are more than welcome, you know, on Drink Champs anytime, you know what I'm saying? You want to promote some other shit, you want to go on here, you want to do your motherfucking, yeah, you. You, you know, you know, this is hip hop. This is what we, we made this for. We made this for legends. And I'll be gosh damn if every legend in the fucking world don't feel welcome. And you motherfucking, if you don't feel it, you have the motherfucking past. God damn it. Yes. <laughs> let's, do, let's, let's take a picture. Yeah, let's do a picture and take some drops. And I'm going to...